Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we're going to use uh, tuna balls and tennis balls to release a fascia. So what is fascia? So fascia is the transparent film that wraps around our muscles, bundle them together, and also connect them to our organs, connecting them to different uh, ligaments or different kinds of soft tissues wrap around. So we have lots of fascias in the body and fascia needs water to open. Okay, so that's why hydrate, hydration is very, very important to open. And in the gym, we see people using the foam uh, roller to release the fascia. And the foam roller for some people is not easy to get because you have to get it from the store. And I think uh, a lot of us, we can find the tennis balls, old tennis balls, baseballs, uh, lacrosse balls in uh, somewhere in the garage or somewhere attic, a room, okay? So let me show you how to do that. So you can, if you have two tennis balls, you can first of all, find another uh, grocery bag and put them together, okay? So very easy. And I got this set from uh, Amazon and this is about $15. It has a mesh bag and have a two balls. So you can play around, be creative. Another one is you need to have a block or the fat books to be with you, okay? And so the first one is we're going to release from our head, the top of head, right here, okay? And so I'm going to use such a balls because the mesh bed doesn't make noise. And for those of you who like to use uh, uh, essential oils or um, some lotions, welcome to do that. For me, today I picked this uh, lemongrass because I feel it just made me smile today. So I'm going to put a little bit in the center of the palm. <sighs> and another thing is I'm going to you know, kind of like massage my arm because I feel I use it too much. Okay, you can do that. <sighs> Just feel release. Okay, and it's very important. We need to uh, relax and then fascia and muscles, they can relax. Okay. All right. And so I have the two balls right here. So what we're going to target at is the Go bladder 20, GB20. Okay, so right here where my thumbs are. You had the blocks right here or the big fat book. Now when you lay down, still have the balls right here in the bag. Have the ball right here. And when you lay down, you can have right here. <sighs> You can adjust a little bit, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> and some people, people can stay here for one hour just because we've been using our neck and shoulder too much, overload. Okay, you can just rest right here or you can nod your head, yes and no, a couple of times. And just relax. <sighs> the body weight and the gravity gradually will open. And you can play around if you want to bring your head side to side to see that if that works for you or if you just want to be here and nod your head to release the tension. Whew. 
and we'll be here for another minute. I know, right? Who can stay here forever? Hmm. I know. Now we have to move on. Now slowly, you can roll either either to the either side of the mat, and or just sit up. Hi, and next one, we're going to um, use your fingertips, kind of massage your scalp, massage. And if you have short hairs, we're going to use your fingers, kind of pull the hairs out, and massage the scalp as well. <laughs> Next one, we're going to remove the balls out of the match bag. And we're going to visit our the most another most popular part. Okay, remove the block, put it next to the hip. Alright, so let me show you first. The spot you're going to uh, visit right here. Okay, so in between your trapezius and shoulder blades. And we all have, many of us, we all have this, you know, the knot right here, okay? And same thing on the side. So what is the knot? It's that when we overuse our muscle, so muscle fiber is supposed to be you know, nice and long, beautiful, and go to different angles. But then when we overuse it, it contracted so much, it doesn't have the opportunity to release. So gradually they'll come like, together, together, and become a knot right there. Okay, and so from our lifestyle, we typing, we cooking, we drive, video games, texting, all contribute to this, right? So identify the two knots right here. And when you're ready, okay, see that? When you're ready, just lay down. And you can play around. And you can just rest right here. And if you want to, you can have the one block or the book, put it underneath your sacrum. So in, you know, have the decline right here to put extra stress, uh, put extra uh, weight to the shoulder so you can feel extra love right here. <sighs> And if you have ponytail, you can re just remove that, okay? Nobody's going to see you. All right, so from here, slowly just from your shoulder side to side. And if any time the balls just go to the other direction, welcome to use your magic fingers to adjust. Side to side. Or if you want to, you can grab up the elbows or extend your ball pin to the sky and slowly just 
bring your one shoulder down, the other shoulder up. Feels nice, right? Whew. We can stay forever. And now, remove the block on the initial sacrum, and now we're moving down. So the way, let me see that to show you. The way we move down is along the side of the two sides of the spine, okay? And now we're going to visit a little bit down next to the spine, and maybe in between your shoulder blades, if that's a spot you feel just a little bit tender right there. We're going to just stay right there. Now thinking about like we're trying to open the vertebrae inch by inch. And now we're going to visit a lot of vertebrae right here. And if you feel like it hurts so much, welcome to get a more softer ball. So maybe tennis ball will be a good idea. But if you still hurt so much, you can have one towel uh, rest on top of the balls and then kind of like you know, decrease the tension in between the balls and also your uh, tight muscle. So play around. Now I'm going to move down a little bit more. Oops. <laughs> All right, so move down a little bit and come to maybe our me back. But for those of you who have some story around your spine, then you don't have to do this, okay? I will attach um, a gentle, another gentle yoga clip so you can follow. Or you can just lay down right here and enjoy the nature because we're going to visit this, uh, the body parts. Maybe you don't have that much story around. All right, so move down a little bit. Maybe reach the lumbar, the L1. Let's move down a little bit more.
Hmm. All right, so one last spot around the long bar. Again, if you have some story around your spine, the long bar, you don't have to do this. You can visit again the the go bladder 20 or the upper back. Okay, it's usually a very popular spot. Or if you want to choose to have a substitute, um, gentle yoga, welcome. But this is really good or coming down. Good. Now, gently lift your knees. And we're going to put the balls. Pull it underneath the, um, the upper part of the, our glutes. So where is that at? I'm going to show you, okay? So put the balls right here. So around underneath the top part of the underwear and or the, your pants and right here, okay? So play around. And for some people, if you prefer to use a foam roller, and if you have one with you, and this is the same idea, okay? We just uh, use a different modality to release the fascia. You can play around too. And from here, you can slowly just rock your lovely butt side to side to massage that area. If you have tight lower back, tight hips, okay, and this area is definitely tight. Whew. Feels good, right? And you can use your fingertips. Move down a little bit. Also swing your hips side to side. Whew. Feels good. And I know some of you are, you know, keeping up with your um, workout schedule. Some of you, you run 5K, 10K, or do some squats, exercise. And this is a good release just for the lower body. Or city long hours, standing long hours, this is really good. All right, now we're going to visit the piriformis. So where's the piriformis? Piriformis is underneath our butt cheek. Okay, and so basically piriformis, it's a little muscle, looks like the little sushi. <laughs> and then, so when we, our knee go externally, that will tighten up. So that contracted our piriformis. When we bring your knees, come back, and that piriformis will be lengthened. So for people who have a sciatica, okay, that means that the pinch that nerve may be around the lower back or around right here. So pregnant women or people usually have a duck walk. Um, the way that the walk look like a duck or a big you know, beer belly, they probably have that, okay? So if you have the piriformis sciatica, then piriformis syndrome or sciatica, just be mindful with this area, okay? Because I don't want you to aggravate. All right, so very, very easy. So put a ball tuck in in between your right butt cheek and the mat and right in the center okay it's under the butt cheek but the, the place that has the most meat now slowly just bring your knees full to the right side <sighs> if you don't feel that use your fingertips play around maybe for me move around and just right there so I don't even have to bring the knees all the way to the right, to my three o'clock direction to feel that. <sighs> That's a good spot, right? Now use your fingertips, 
Maybe find another tender spot just right next to it. Maybe yes, maybe not. Just find a tender spot. <sighs> Right, so when you're ready, very good, feels good, right? And when you're ready, continue roll on, no, on the, release the ball and slowly just roll over to this side. Now we're going to visit the IT band. Where's the IT band? So it looks like I did that stripe right here. So that's a big fat fascia. And yeah, people do cry or about to cry, feel like they're crying when they do the IT band stretch because that's a spot we rarely um, visit, okay? So put a ball underneath the IT band and use your body weight. <sighs> if you don't feel it, play around. Or if you need uh, balls that's a little bit harder, like baseball, welcome to get that. Now bring it down a little bit more. So that's about like three inches above the knee and you have the spot. That's a good spot. That's where the fascia merges right there. That's a good spot. And also along the RIT band, we have lots of meridian uh, points. So this is a good way to release a uh, lot of tension. Hey Lucky. Good when you're ready and come up. Now, welcome to find the other side. So I'm going to lay down again. See some changing side. Pure from us on the other side. Oof. Now same thing. Put the ball in between your left butt cheek and the mat and both knees fall to the left. Play around. This side may be a little bit different. Now use your fingertips to remove the ball to the second spot right here, still around this piriformis area, the butt cheek. Alright, so when you're ready and unleash, now we're going to visit the IT band on this side. Okay, so roll over, belly facing me, and use your elbows to support you. And put it underneath the Adidas stripe. Play around. Different sensation, right? If there's too much for on this side, you don't have to, you can release one leg. So you can just have one, the weight of one leg to push it down. If need to have extra love, 
you can have two legs. <laughs> Good, now let's find the same spot three inches above the knee on the side still. Luca, that's okay. So it seems that there's a UPS guy here and my radar starts. Luca, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Good. And actually, whew, that's a lot. Now, next one, we're going to visit um, the shins, okay? And so for the shins, um, very easy. Look, okay, that's okay. Okay, so right now we only need to, if you play around, you can have just one ball or you can put the balls back to the mesh bag, uh, play around. So this time I'm going to play around to put it back to the mesh bag. Now what I'm going to do is going to massage the shins right here. You can do this, rock up and down. Cool, right? And same thing on this. So there are many meridian points along the side of the shins and several of them relate to uh, releasing the water. Whew. Feels good. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, let's find the other side. So same thing, you can play around one ball or two. Almost there. About two more breath. And actually, alright, so nice, right? Now you can tap on the side, release the tension. So I hope you enjoy this uh, two novels and next time we're going to visit other body parts and it's really fun. Okay, now inhale, hands to the head and exhale, hands to the heart center. And namaste. Alright, so remember, drink more water. Okay, see you next time.